Hi, welcome to the uh, second part of the uh, birch forest. So um, I'm going to add a wolf to the whole scene and I'm showing how to uh, make this um, this um, landscape a little bit bigger. So I position down the the part that I already done and for the uh, reflection I just flip the uh, stencil over so that I can do the reflection in the water. And now I can add some uh, colors to the whole thing. So, as before, I'm using um, black and white as, as uh, opaque colors, and the rest are transparent. So, I've done uh, the white with the uh, opaque white and And the the orange looking color is the light brown that I have. That's like ninety percent yellow and ten percent purple. Now put some pots down, which actually isn't that necessary because I'm putting a wolf over this later. But um, So you can see how easy you can uh, make one, like one part into a larger part. So this now is the magenta color. And this is uh, dark blue again. And the standard red. So now I have like the colors that's matching to the uh, original painting. So one video before this it's uh, with the German description and two before this is with the English description. So if you want to see how the first one was made, you can watch there. So now I'm doing the birch trees again. And also the highlights on the background. So I'm using some patterns like the grass patterns for the small island that was there. And um, then I'm using the light brown again to color in the trees. And then comes the uh, final highlight. First I'm using the reduced air by bending the air hose to do some small dots and now I have the highlights and some light brown again and so the background is larger this time and now I'm gonna apply a wolf to this scene so I'm starting with uh, painting everything in black. Um, I think uh, actually the, the uh, base color will be white, but I think uh, because I'm putting down black first, it's easier to make the white late, uh, later. Otherwise you have to do too, too many layers to, uh, to make it all cover up with white and then a little shadow so you may see on the other side I I've done the reflection of the, other, the the black and white painting I have done the reflection of the wolf inside the um, 
first stencil. So where the um, first stencil of the birch trees. So I just put the wolf over this and paint into the reflection. And here I'm just doing a, a quick black uh, shadow. Now this is the first black of the wolf. Everything in full black. And now comes the dark grey. So I'm doing the paws and the nose a little darker and the rest gets a normal grey. And this is light grey so I'm just going over it with a normal grey. And um, for a little bit of like that it pops out a little bit more I'm using the dark blue to give it like a blue gray look on the wolf so this now is the cover stencil if you want to do the background but the other part is that the eyes are in there So now I'm doing the uh, small stars there, like I bend the air hose, like let's basically no air come through and then I can uh, do the small dots. Now I'm using the white to make like the uh, breath of the, the wolf appears. And finally, I'm doing the full white. And they get like a really nice detailed um, fur structure on this stencil and that's it this is how um, you can make your uh, background wider you can add like animals or as you can see on the black and white tank like an Indian to this whole scene um, Hope you enjoyed it and uh, look out for some new videos in the future. Bye.